We've been in the process of making a lot of school funding decisions through the courts for now almost half a century. They started with Serrano versus Priest in California, where the state was sued that its school finance system was unconstitutional because it denied equal funding or, or access to good schools to poor kids. These court cases have gone on in 45 states now. Recently, there was a potentially important decision in the state of Kansas. Kansas has had a court case for now over 10 years, and it finally reached the Supreme Court in Kansas. It was argued uh, along the lines that many of these court cases are. First, that the funding system was inequitable because some districts got more state funding than others. Secondly, that even if it were equitable, it did not provide sufficient funds or adequate funds to provide the top-notch education for the kids of Kansas. The Supreme Court looked at this case and decided on equity grounds that yes, you had to pay attention to whether the state was harming poor kids, and it made part of its ruling to promote more equity in Kansas. But the major part of its ruling had to do with adequacy decisions. The Kansas uh, Supreme Court said, you shouldn't just judge a system by how much money is spent and whether the state is putting in money. What you should judge the system by is the outcomes of the system. Are kids learning? Are they getting the knowledge and skills that the state wants them to get? It sent, the, sent this court uh, case back to the lower court to consider how it was uh, dealing with the learning of kids. But this is a major decision because it takes it out of the realm of just pure dollars and cents and talks about what we should be talking about, and that is whether kids are learning.